Hi everyone, solving this Olympiad question 2 raised by power of x equals x raised by power of 4 and x equals what? Solving an Olympiad question like this, what a lot of people, that is, majority of people, can do is to apply log to both sides, that is, the natural log. Log of 2 raised by power of x equals log of x raised by power of 4. And if we approach this Olympiad question, like this we're going to end up in having log of x raised by the power of 4 base 2 equals to x and we're going to end up from where we started from that is x raised by the power of 4 equals 2 raised by the power of x which is where we have started from this simply means applying natural law to both sides is not going to work then what are we going to do step number one divide both power by their rcm that is their lowest common molecule. So the XM of X and 4 is just 4X. Therefore, dividing this power by each SEM, we're going to have 2 raised by the power of X over 4X equals X raised by the power of 4 over 4X. We just divide the power by their SEM, which is 4X and 4X. Then, X goes here, X goes here. Then, 4 goes here, 4 also goes here. Therefore, we are left with what? 2 raised by the power of 1 over 4 equals x raised by the power of 1 over x. So, what are we going to do next from here? That is going to be step number 2. That is, rewrite the base of the power to be of the same figure that is left hand side. As we can see from this right hand side, we can see that we have the same variable here, which is x. And we have the same thing, which is also x here, x, x. So we're going to do the same thing here at the left hand side so that we can have the same number here as the base and the same number here as the denominator of the power. So in order to achieve this same figure, what are we going to do? So we must note that every whole number is raised by the power of 1. For instance, if I write 2, it's just the same thing as 2 raised by the power of 1. Which I can also manipulate to be 2 all raised by the power of 2 over 2 because 2 goes there 1, that's going to be 1. 2 goes here 1, that's going to be 1, so it's exactly the same thing as what I'm having here. Which I can even say is also the same thing as 2 or raised by the power of 4 over 4. Because 4 goes here 1, 4 goes here 1, so which is exactly the same thing as 2. Therefore, what am I going to need is just this 2 or raised by the power of 4 over 4. So, coming back to this expression, I'm not going to write 2 again, but I'm going to write 2 raised by the power of 4 over 4 instead of just 2 here. Now, this expression becomes 2 raised by the power of 4 over 4, which is exactly the same 2 that was here. Then, the power of 1 over 4, that is exactly here, equals x raised by the power of 1 over x. Hence, what we're going to do to this left-hand side is to carry out a certain index rule, which says, when we have a raised by the power of m in brackets, and we have another power outside there, which is n, then the rule says we're going to multiply both power, the power inside the bracket and the power outside the bracket, which is going to be a raised by the power of m times n. And exactly that's what we're going to do here. We're going to multiply both power, one inside the bracket and the one outside the bracket. Multiplying this, at the end of the day, we're going to have 2 all raised by the power of 4 over 16 equals x raised by the power of 1 over x. Now, there is something we need to do to this power. Note that 4 over 16 will be written as 4 over 1 multiplied by 1 over 16. Now, instead of this, we're going to need this side. So, if I split this power of 4 over 16, now I'm going to have 2 raised by the power of 4 multiplied by 1 over 16 equals x raised by the power of 1 over x. Now, we all know that 2 raised by the power of 4 is still the same thing as 16. Now, I can write 16 raised by the power of 1 over 16 equals x raised by the power of 1 over x. Therefore, the left hand side equals exactly the right hand side. And x equals to 16 and that is going to be the final answer. So, in order to check and verify if x is actually 16, we go back to the question 2 raised by the power of x equals x raised by the power of 4 and insert 16 to wherever we find x. And at the same time, confirm if this left hand side is actually equal to this right hand side. 
Then we write 2 raised by the power of 16 instead of x equals 16 raised by the power of 4. 16 instead of x. Then writing 16 in an index form, just 16, is the same thing as 2 raised by the power of 4. So we still have 2 raised by the power of 16, then we're going to have 2 raised by the power of 4. And put this in brackets, then raised by the power of 4 outside. So if we carry out an index rule here, this 4 is going to multiply this 4. So we're going to have a multiplication sign here. 4 times 4 is going to be 16. Then we now have the same 2 raised by the power of 16 now equals 2 raised by the power of 16. Because 4 multiplied by 4 is going to be 16. So the left hand side equals the right hand side, which shows that for the father x is equal to 16 is actually correct. And keep on loving Mary Marys. And just before we go, kindly like the video, make a comment, I'm gonna read your comment, share, subscribe. I'm gonna really appreciate that because it's gonna help my channel grow. Thank you so much.